The question is, what do I charge for my handmade products? Hey, it's Denise from Lumahead.com and this question reminds me of Art Basel. I saw the cutest little figures in a corner and I just had to know what they cost. You ready? Yeah, you're seeing correctly, $54,000. How about this one here? Mm-hmm. You're not gonna believe your eyes, but this is $22,000. How do they come up with these numbers? I know you gotta be asking, does anyone have a formula? Actually, yes, someone does. Her name is Abby, and in 2014, she wrote an article and gave us this formula. Materials plus time plus labor and overhead give you the price of your item. All right, let's break this down. We're talking cost of materials and supplies. What do you feel is a decent hourly wage for you to create the product? What's it going to cost you to pack it and ship it to your customer? Is there a rent equipment fee? Do you have fee schedule for posting the item and do you want to advertise? Here's an example of the breakdown. We're going to imagine that it costs us about $5 in yarn and stuffing and other materials and it took us about two hours to make the doll. It's going to cost about five bucks to ship plus the packaging and we have some other overhead expenses. Here's a starting point. We're going to say $47 for this little doll. After I have that number, I then factor in two more items into Abby's formula. I also add emotion and location because to me those are important. What do I mean by emotion? I mean, how do you feel about your price for your item? And by location, I mean, where is your customer? Is this an eBay customer, an Etsy customer, or an Art Basel customer? The truth is that most shoppers will go to specific locations, platforms, expecting a specific price range for what they're going to buy. It's like that person that is going to Art Basel to buy something. They're not expecting to pay two, three hundred dollars for these little guys. They're thinking tens of thousands of dollars, which is why you need to know your customer are they 60 or 12? You need to know your competition. What are they doing and how much are they selling for? You need to keep notes for your things and where are they selling? And you need to re report. All of these platforms are going to offer you reports that will help you stay current, but you have to be willing to make changes. Most importantly, this is your art, your work. You decide what it's worth. Hey, thanks for watching. If the information was valuable, please share it. That's going to help me a lot. And depending on where you're watching the video, like, comment, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe.